Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, give me more baby. Oh. How's it going everyone? My apologies for that somewhat disturbing intro, but I thought uh, a couple of you might find a little bit of humor in it. Anyways, let's get into uh, what you've all been waiting for. Unboxing $1,000 worth of fishing gear. And no, I normally do not spend this much on tackle. In fact, I've never spent this much money on tackle that did not include a rod and reel. And the only reason why I did is because I literally have spent less than $50 in 2017 on new baits and tackle and stuff like that. So I felt like I was a little bit overdue and I may have gone a little bit overboard, but you know, when you walk into Bass Pro Shops planning to spend on $70 or so, sometimes you pick up a couple extra things and before you know it, you're up to uh, 500. Anyways, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So let's go ahead and uh, get into here and show you what I bought. The first thing I had to do was I had to replace my knife that I had because uh, when I was fishing in the inner harbor, it somehow disappeared from the time I met my buddy to the time I left. Uh, I don't know where it went, but uh, I bought a new one and I got the uh, same brand and just a slightly different model. They, uh, they tricked me with that number one selling knife. They got me with the marketing ploy, but here it is right here. Nice black blade and it's, uh, I mean, it looks sharp. So far it's done its job and it's pretty sexy. Next up, we've got a lot, a lot of shad imitation zoom style flukes or fluke style baits. First up, we've got the KVD Perfect Plastics, one in a baby bass pattern, one in a uh, albino shad pattern. And uh, what I like about these flukes is that they're really, really heavy. You can cast them a very, very far distance. And they also sink really, really fast. So if you're fishing slightly deeper water or you want a faster retrieve under the surface, uh, these are the way to go. Then I've got the original Zoom Flukes right here. So I've actually went with the exact same color patterns on these Zoom Flukes right here. Uh, albino to imitate the shad and Baby Bass just as a uh, all-purpose bait fish uh, camouflage imitation. And I've also bought three packs of Super Fluke Juniors in uh, a variety of color patterns right here. And this can be key in the summer when the uh, shad you're trying to imitate are a little bit smaller and you need to match the profile of the bait. If the uh, bass are schooling up and keying in on a certain size, these could be your ticket from a horrible day to a pretty great day on the water. Stocked up on line. Too much line, probably. First up, I've got a Stren Original. And it's my favorite type of monofilament. I got 12 pound and 6 pound. What I do is I normally don't spool my reels with monofilament. What I do is I use it as a leader. And even though this isn't line that's made to be a leader, if you know the limits of your line and you know what it can and can't do, uh, using main line as a leader, it can work just fine. And then I've got uh, a bunch of fluorocarbon and same idea here. Whoops. Same idea here. I bought uh, just the cheapest uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon you can buy, which is red label. So it has a lot of memory. It's not really going to be good as a main line. Uh, I got a six, six pound, eight pound, 10 pound, 12 pound. And the only thing I'll be using these for is, uh, like I said, is leader material when I'm fishing braided line. I'd rather buy a 200 yard spool of line to use as leader as opposed to leader line which gives you 25 yards for the exact same price. So eight times as much, no extra cost. And uh, these bad boys cost me a pretty penny. I bought a whole bunch of metal crocodile spoons and you've probably never seen me fish these for largies and that's because I haven't. But it's something I want to learn and it can be deadly in the summer when you're fishing deep. Ooh. This spoon right here weighs two and a quarter ounces, so it's an absolute giant. I believe I bought three of those. And I also bought two of the uh, more standard sizes, which is uh, right here. Right there, just the uh, standard one ounce crocodile spoon. And these flutter spoons are a great shad imitation. When you're fishing them and they're just fluttering all the way down into the depths, you rip it off the bottom, just perfectly mimics a dying shad. And where I'll be using that, this is a map of my local reservoir Lock Raven Reservoir, and what I've been told by the guy working at the boat rental place is that a lot of guys, well not a lot, a few guys, a few select fishermen are fishing the main channel in the deepest water they can find. They're throwing those giant spoons looking for a few bites during the day, but they're catching absolute giants. So I've never, I've never done it before, and ever since I've watched LFG's video of him losing a bunch on, uh, losing a bunch of huge fish on flutter spoons, I've always been uh, interested to test out their potential. And uh, I will get an opportunity to sooner or later. 
All right. One of my favorite river baits. I'm probably not gonna fish these in ponds and lakes too much because there's too many weeds this time of year. But we've got a selection of KVD square bills right here. I bought one. I bought one in the 2.5 version, the oversized version in a bluegill pattern, just because I thought it looked really good and I don't have one. And sometimes that's what fishermen do. Then I bought four in the 1.5 version. I bought two silent ones. I got a uh, crawfish pattern and a shad pattern. Then I bought two of his uh, rattling ones, which I've uh, actually never used. So they were pretty interesting. And I got two bright colors. And I figured uh, if you're trying to get the bait to stand out with bright colors, why don't you try throwing in a couple rattles just to make, make them that much more uh, noticeable. Oh, here we go. Picked up a 10 pound anchor and uh, an anchor line because I don't own an anchor. I do own a trolling motor. I do not own a boat. But a lot, a couple places around here do have rental boats, and one of them does not have an anchor or a trolling motor on it. So when I go to that reservoir next, I'll have these if I need to anchor up, and then I'll be good to go. Ah, a product of much debate, a fish attractant. So uh, some people say that fish attractants can draw in more fish, get you more bites. Other fishermen say they don't really help at all. And then the third group of fishermen say uh, attractants can help a bass or any type of fish bite onto the bait and once they've been on they hold on to it a little bit longer to give you a little extra time to uh, set the hook and what I believe is that I think attractants will mask any offensive odors to the fish maybe you put on some sunscreen a couple seconds ago or I don't know some other odor that a fish might not like I think an attractant can cover that up and I also think that an attractant will help a fish hang on to a bait a little bit longer just because it'll taste more natural if you're using the right attractant. And this is one that I've never used, but it's made with real crawfish, so I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see how it works. All right, we're going old school. Got some bobbers, got some split shots, and these split shots are actually in the shape of bullet sinkers, which should go through the weeds a little more easily. And then we got some bobbers for when I'm uh, fishing with some new anglers who need a strike indicator. They'll be able to tell with these guys, the classic orange and yellow. Not said about that. Another one of these, a stream thermometer to measure the water temp. My old one broke a little while ago, so had to replace it. These guys are accurate, they do their job, and they'll give you a hint on uh, how the fish might be behaving based on what the water temperature is. Mm. Mm. Got sneeze. Oh, ah. All right, a couple allergies, it's all good. Right here, saltwater x wrap. I believe this is a five inch or six inch version. Five inch, I believe. You know, everyone throws the four inch x wrap, but I really found that the uh, five inch version can do really, really well in certain scenarios. Next up, the classic inline spinner. Panther Martins, silver and gold, as basic as you can get right here. And, uh, you know, these actually go in my panic box. Some days when I literally can't catch anything. I might be pulling out uh, the inline spinner just to catch whatever swims in the water. Next we've got uh, weights, a lot of different weights. First up we've got these lead drop shot weights in uh, different sizes. And although lead is not the best for the environment, for drop shot weights you're losing a lot. I feel like you kind of have to go with lead. I mean, money doesn't grow on trees and you know I feel a little bit bad about it, but I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about uh, lead drop shot weights. But whenever I can, I fish with tungsten. One, because it's better for the environment. And two, because it's a smaller profile. And three, because it's more sensitive, it's more dense than lead. So you'll be able to feel more of the bottom, more contours, uh, more different densities and whatever it's bumping into. And right here, we just got some uh, different size bullet weights right here. I prefer black. If I can't find black, I'll get a green pumpkin normally. I think it uh, blends in a little better than silver. Well, let me show you guys this. This is a very interesting item you may not have seen before. It's called a Carolina Keeper, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to create a Carolina rig without tying, you know, like 30 different knots and uh, using a swivel and stuff like that. All you do is uh, cut your line, slide the weight up, slide one or two of these onto your line, then you can uh, adjust the length however you like it, put on a hook, and you're good to go. So just one line, no extra hassle, very, very easy, and I found them to be very useful over my years. Oh yeah, had to get uh, had to get this guy right here. These are snap swivels, and the only time I'm using these is when I'm using a bait that creates line twist. So uh, inline spinners, casting spoons, uh, anything like that. 
I'll use this. And if I want to be lazy and I don't want to tie baits all over the place, then I'll use a snap only, but no swivel, because the swivel just adds extra weight and bulk that you don't need. Lastly, we have hooks. Lots of hooks. Drop shot and split shot hooks for uh, exactly that. one on and 2 out extra wide gap hooks for those Super Fluke Juniors and any other small profiled plastic. And then we've got these hooks right here, which are which I bought for live bait fishing, which I don't do too often, so I really don't own any hooks. A gammy live bait hook, so it looks about perfect for like a little shiner or something. And it appears to be a very strong hook that won't ever bend out, which I need. Uh, we got another size right here, same thing. Pack of 25, so hopefully I never run out. And lastly, an even bigger size, and that's gonna do it for BPS. Now let's get into Bama Frogs. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff right here, guys. As you know, uh, my buddy Bama Bass runs his own tackle store called Bama Frogs, and he gives me a nice discount whenever I buy baits from him. And honestly, even if I didn't buy baits from him, I would still shop at his store, number one, because his prices are the same price or cheaper than Tackle Warehouse, which is considered to be the cheapest place online. And his shipping is better or the same as Tackle Warehouse as well. And who would I rather support? A small local business of a dude I'm friends with or a big corporation? And I'm gonna choose my buddy every time. Whoa, all right. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna start off strong right here. We have a Jackal Gantrell Jr. A really beautiful swim bait in a blue girl pattern right here. And uh, you know, I'm not very good at fishing big swim baits, but I intend to learn and hopefully this guy can uh, help me do that. Another very, very unique bait. This is considered to be a snake lure imitation. So it's really just a walking bait, but it just has like a profile of, you know, of a slender snake. Same color pattern too. I believe this is like a copperhead. This is a water snake or something. And I have no idea what the action looks like. It looks very interesting. And uh, when I test it out, you guys will see how well it works. Mm, the fun continues. We have the iCast 2016 Best in Show winner, the Savage Gear Duckler. Look at that thing. Actually looks pretty realistic. And it has uh, some paddle tails on its uh, feet right there. Very, very interesting, and I know it works because I gave it to uh, John B, I believe, in our worst lure challenge, and he actually caught a pretty big fish on it, if I remember. Can you guys guess why these baits are not in normal packaging? It's because they are custom painted by one of uh, Bama Bass's guys, so you literally can't get them anywhere but BamaFrogs.com, and if you guys check them out, this is a bluegill pattern right here. Extremely realistic. You can look at those beautiful colors. And we've got a shad pattern. And we have a crappie pattern. Then in the Whopper Plopper, I got it painted in a natural bluegill color. So if you're fishing murky water, there's no need for custom crankbaits. But if you're fishing really, really clear water and you want an edge, or you're fishing somewhere that's very pressured, and you know they're using these baits, you want to give them a different look at another color, you can try getting some uh, custom painted baits. We've got some frog style baits. Up first, we have a frog that I've actually never used before. It's a Terminator popping frog and regular frog. I mean, Terminator makes really, really good spinner baits. I'm not sure how the frogs are, but it'll be fun to uh, test them out. I've got a couple of Ish's Snag Proof Fat Frogs right here. A proven frog that I've never tried before, but we'll see how the uh, hook up ratio is, because that's what really determines what a good frog is. And we have a Live Target Coppers Field Mouse. Very realistic. Probably do its job. Another live target, and this is a swim bait that I've never seen before. It is called the, I don't know what the exact name is, but it's a swim bait and it looks extremely realistic. I mean, it has the exact shape and profile of a, uh, of a shad and it's soft body, has a hook on the top and also has a hook slot on the bottom. This is, uh, this is probably perfect next time I see some uh, bass busting on shad at my local reservoir. We've got a couple pepper custom spinner baits right here. And it may be a company you haven't heard of, but they make really quality bladed baits. You can see how shiny these uh, gold and silver blades are. They're gonna give off a ton of flash when I'm fishing them. Imitate those wounded bait fish. But here's a bait I'm really looking forward to testing out. We have a couple packs of Culprit Incredifrogs right here, which is your standard buzz toad. But what I'm looking for in a buzz toad is one, flapping feet, and two, a body that's heavy. A lot of these frogs are too light, you can't cast them very far. And I'm hoping these uh, Incredit frogs might uh, might be the ones. And to uh, equip onto those frogs, I've got a pack of Ribbit Double Take Frog Hooks right here. 
I usually use a single screw lock hook. I've never tried the double, so it'll be another good experiment. Maybe it'll help my hookup ratio. We have three packs of Trocar worm hooks in 3-aught, 4-aught, and 5-aught. These are my second favorite brand after Gammy's. Never had an issue with these. Seam sharp, don't bend out, can't complain. More baitfish imitations, a couple of uh, fish head spin heads. And then we've got some Reaction Innovation Little Dippers. One of my favorite uh, soft swim baits right here. We've got uh, white ice to imitate the uh, shad, sorry, white trash to uh, imitate the shad. Then we've got uh, Dirty Sanchez, yes, it's called Dirty Sanchez. And this is gonna imitate your young bluegills. And the interesting thing about these baits is I believe you will never find them in Bass Pro Shops because uh, BPS is not a big fan of the uh, names they use to name their colors. Got a whole mess of uh, Dirty Jigs jigs and uh, just my two favorite color patterns. You got your classic black and blue, which is the color that I use most often. 3 8 ounce, half ounce, three quarters of an ounce. Then I've got a couple in a green pumpkin type color, a more natural color if the water is really clear. And this is in half an ounce and three eighths of an ounce. And if you're gonna get jigs, you're gonna need some good trailers to go with them. So we got some net bait pack of chunks. And this is a black and blue pack of chunk right here. And we've also got this green pumpkin red flake pack of chunk right here. So all my jigs will be happy and uh, fully dressed. And we have the river to sea. Rover 98, which is uh, just looks like a walking bait, and it'll be interesting to see how the action of these compared to uh, my favorite walking bait of all time, which would be the Lucky Craft Gunfish. It'll be fun to test out. Got a couple buzz baits right here. We have a white and red bait with red flake, then a black and red bait with blue flake. Nice color patterns, and to go along with them, we have some. Uh, we actually have a trailer on a buzz bait, which I've never ever used before. And if I add this trailer, it'll one, add more action to it, and two, it'll increase the buoyancy of the bait and allow me to fish it slower, which may be key if the water's really, really warm and the bass don't really want a really fast presentation. And that will do it, I believe, for the unboxing. I didn't unbox every single bait that I bought because then it would've been like a 40 minute video, but uh, I showed most of it and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you stayed this long, I'm guessing you probably did. But anyways, tomorrow, I'm fishing with my sister Nikki. Hopefully I'll get her on some big fish and you guys will have a fun video to watch tomorrow evening. See you later.